Hey, what's going on, everyone? You're in the right place if you love fantasy football. I'm Waver Word Queen, and today is day four in which I will give you two players you should target in your fantasy football leagues. And this is for deep leagues or dynasty leagues. Yes, so I'm giving you two more sleepers for the day, and I'm giving you one rookie you should target in a dynasty league or in a deep league. But before we do that, y'all hit that like button if you wanna see more videos from Wave of Wire Queen on fantasy football, which will help you get ready for your fantasy football 2021 season, whether that is for redraft leagues or dynasty leagues. And make sure you subscribe to Wave of Wire Queen because you love sports. All right, y'all, let's jump right into it. So my first player to target on day four is Brandon Ayuk of the San Francisco 49ers. He is a 23-year-old wide receiver. He just uh, finished his um, first year in the NFL. He played 12 games. He missed a few games due to injury. He had 60 wrecks on the season and finished with 748 receiving yards and five touchdowns. That's right, five touchdowns, which wasn't bad considering they didn't have their starting quarterback. And he was working with some backups. Some say the starting quarterback's a backup, but, you know, Wave Wire Queen didn't say it. I got that from some 49er fans, so don't don't y'all hurt me out there. 49er fans said it. But nonetheless, y'all, he is definitely a talented young wide receiver. He finished as a wide receiver 3-3, which isn't bad when you missed a few games and you were playing with, your, with backups. Um, in standard leagues, he averaged a little over 12 fantasy points per game. And then in PPR leagues, he averaged over 17, which is really, really good. What am I saying? I'm saying that if you are in a league and, and say you decide your draft strategy is to prioritize the running back with your first pick and say you uh, try to grab one of the top tier wide receivers, this young man is definitely going to be good for flex or if you're in a league that you're having to start three wide receivers i can see him being that wide receiver that that third wide receiver that you target who's going to play very very well i am very i was very impressed with him i'm impressed with him i have him on a few of my teams in dynasty leagues so target him because i feel like he's going to improve so if he's ever if he averaged 12 points in standard leagues, I feel like that's going to go up to 13 or maybe 14. And then um, in PPR leagues, that 17 may go to 18 fantasy points because at some point, Trey Lance is going to get in there and you're going to have that young, talented quarterback step in there and he's going to hook up with that young, talented wide receiver and they're going to make magic. They're going to make 49er fans so happy and forget about who? Jimmy G. So if you have a chance to target him, whether that is via trade, don't be afraid to pull the trigger on a trade and don't be afraid to draft him. All right. My second, this is my second uh, player you should target. And his name is Michael Pittman Jr. He plays for the Colts. He is 23 years old. He is 6'4". He was he had an up and down season. Some of it was due to injuries and then a little bit of inconsistent play from uh, Phillip Rivers. He finished as a wide receiver, um, 82, which is not that great. In standard leagues, he averaged uh, six fantasy points. And in PPR leagues, he averaged nine. I'm going to say that that's going to increase. Carson Wentz is going to have a nice comeback season. So... Standard leagues, I can see Pittman pushing up to nine or 10 points. And then in PPR leagues, I can see him pushing to 11 to 12, maybe even 13 points. Because you're going to have Carson Wentz in there. And like I said, Carson Wentz is going to have a nice comeback season. So you want to pair him with one of, of the young studs that they have on that team. Obviously, um, T.Y. Hilton, he's kind of getting up there. I do think he's going to have a solid season. However, Pittman, in my opinion, is going to be the guy you want to have out of those wide receivers. So what do you do? What does Waver Wire say? What does Waver Wire Queen tell you to do? Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Because guess what? He's going to have a good season. Obviously, he's not someone that you will be looking to target high. He's like late, mid to late 
late round, um, no late round draft pick, and it's going. He's going to pay off, and he's also solid if you're um, in the dynasty league. If you don't want to play him right away because you're feeling like his production is not where you want it to be for one of your starting wide receivers, you if you have a uh, if you're playing on a sleeper app, you just put him in a taxi squad and just let him sit there. I was able to pick him up off the wire in one of my uh, dynasty leagues. I was shocked that the owner dropped him. They dropped him. I picked him up. He performed well. Like I said, it was a bit inconsistent, but you're going to get consistency from Michael Pittman Jr. this year, which is why you should look at him late. Remember, guys, hit that like button if you enjoy fantasy football and you are trying to prepare for the 2021 season and you like players like Michael Pittman who are considered sleepers in deep leagues. Remember, this, uh, this is for deep leagues and dynasty purposes. Obviously, you're not going to draft him in the top 10, but you can prioritize him for later rounds because once it gets deep into those rounds, it gets kind of it, it gets harder, especially if you are not doing your research. But guess what? You're here on Waiver Wire Queen's channel, so that means you are doing your research and you drafted Michael Pittman. All right, y'all. So I've been giving you one rookie sleeper during this uh, mini series. So today I am giving you Pat Friamu from the Pittsburgh Steelers. They drafted him high in the second round to my surprise. He's a tight end. He's definitely solid. Currently they have um, Eric Ebram on the roster. He's, he's a, bit, a bit inconsistent. McDonald, he's no longer team retired. This is going to be a really good pick for you, whether that is deep leagues or a dynasty league. Because in a dynasty league, if you don't want to play him right away, you don't have to. You can be thinking of long term for your, your future. Some uh, compare him to Heath Miller. Obviously, he played well. And if he's anything like him, it's a great, it's going to be a great pickup for you, whether that's via the draft or if some team is crazy enough to leave him out there on wires, which I doubt. So you have to prioritize him in the draft. He may even perform well in um, redraft leagues considering if he gets that playing time and considering also you got to think that tight end spot is really not that deep. It was Kyle Pitts and then everyone else, but no one at the at a point in time was thinking about um, this young man and he was drafted in the second round by the Steelers and everybody is like, oh, we have to get this guy because he was drafted by the Steelers. If you got him, you got to steal. He's going to end up taking that starting job from Ibram. He may even compete for it this year and end up winning that starting job because he's just that talented and he's so overall solid. So, what do you do, guys? If you are kind of like me, like I don't necessarily prioritize the tight end spot in, in my redraft leagues. I try to find solid value mid to late, and I always tend to, and then I may end up targeting him late, but I'm loaded at my other uh, spots. That may be a strategy you want to use. You got to think that the tight end spot is just not that deep. So you want to make sure that you get someone who you who you can ensure is going to play well. I can, I can guarantee you that in redraft leagues, he may go undrafted, especially if it's not a deep league, say a 10, a 10 team league, he's probably gonna go undrafted. And then at some point, someone's gonna pick him up during the season because he has performed well. But why wait until someone pick him up? Why wait until he performs well? Get him in the last round if you can, you know, just prioritize where you pick him. It really just depends on how you get in that uh, league and draft and, and, and uh, the structure of the league. If it's a dynasty league, obviously you are drafting him and you are waiting for him to get his, his, uh, his time. Guess what? He's going to get his time this season. It's not going to be next year. It's going to be this year. So I guarantee you that if you pick this young man up, you won't regret it. So prioritize him late. He's going before uh, tight ends like Blake Jarwin in leagues that I'm that I'm in and, and, and also Gusecki. So people are 
high on him, but these are dynasty leagues. So they're projecting him to be a really solid option, whether it's uh, mid midpoint this year, at the midpoint this year, or definitely next year and going forward. So don't wait until he has this great game and everyone's trying to grab him. You do it before, because what do we do? We, we're active. So what do we do? We act. We don't react. We want to stay ahead of the competition. And, and that's just what it is. All right, y'all. Y'all hit that like button so you can see more videos from Wave and Wire Queen on some great fantasy football sleepers for the 2021 season. Hit the subscribe button so you're staying connected with Wave and Wire Queen. Make sure your notifications are on so when these videos drop, you are ahead of your competition. Hit me up and follow me on Facebook, IG, and Twitter, and TikTok because I'm a TikToker now at Wave of Wire Queen. Y'all have a great day. Peace.